So which applications do customers and partners of NanoDimension uh, investigate using this technology? On the one hand, there are the generic needs of the electrical engineer to compress time when prototyping electronics. So additive manufacturing as a tool to change workflows, to speed up development times, to de-risk development, to lower costs during development, and to allow innovation to flourish is what you get from the additive manufacturing system, uh, the Dragonfly uh, 3D printer. So when it comes to reinventing how your company goes about invention and innovation, additive manufacturing allows this to happen much more quickly and much more cheaply. There are specific application sets where research is ongoing, looking at, for example, the applications of additive manufacturing to the domain of antennas. And these can be at relatively high frequencies. So to date, we've explored um, five, six gigahertz uh, antennas, looking at transmission and reception and throw, and finding that additive manufacturing is a very viable approach to the difficult challenges of RF uh, antenna design. Additional areas of interest come from, for example, the automotive industry where the ability to protect and encapsulate parts, to be able to position sensors in difficult or angled locations can be the difference between failure and success. Or when it comes to the wider research and academic uh, community, the ability to explore formats and geometries that have been impossible to prototype or very difficult to prototype is now something that can be done at the push of a button. So we see a whole range, whether it's in the area of uh, the defense industry, the research industry, the automotive industry, antennas and space applications as well. All of these lend themselves very well to uh, making the most of additive manufacturing to make things differently, make things more quickly, and make things with much lower development risk than traditional approaches would require.